The first part of working with Microsoft Azure is setting up your account. And there is a free account if you have not used Azure before, especially if you're a student. And you definitely want to use this to begin with. If you've already used that, um, and the only thing they'll accept is a credit card, if, uh, well, then you need to be very careful because you can leave some of these services running and you can be billed hundreds of dollars if you make the wrong choices. So you need to be really careful with uh, setting up an account if you're going to be using a credit card with that. Otherwise, check out the free account and go from there. So let's get started with creating a virtual machine to begin with. And what is a virtual machine? Well, imagine that you go to the store and you buy a desktop computer or a laptop computer and it comes pre-installed with your operating system, say it's Windows. And then you go and you uh, buy some additional software, maybe accounting software or something to track your finances, and install that on the computer and run that. Well, what happens if later on that computer just completely crashes? Um, it's just absolutely useless, and you've lost all of that information that was on that computer. Well, wouldn't it be nice if you could just go back to the store and get a replacement for it for free and do that all within 20 or 30 minutes? Well, with a virtual machine, that's pretty much what you could do. A virtual machine is like a computer, and you can choose which operating system you want. Uh, it runs on hardware, but it's not your hardware. It's hardware that's... Uh, uh, from Microsoft Azure and it um, and you can install software on it so it comes with an operating system you can install um, the appropriate software on it and you're ready to go and if something happens this image or virtual machine if it's lost what you can do is that if you've got a backup you can just replace it with a backup and literally within a few minutes so it can be a really handy thing to do and also considering that you can access it from any computer that has access to the internet um, okay so let's go ahead and create our virtual machine over here on the left hand side I have a list of all these resources um, um, <clears throat> I have a, a list of favorites but if I clicked on all services I could see all the services that were available to me uh, but under favorites one of the popular ones is what we're going to do which is a virtual machine so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to add a virtual machine uh, here there's a tutorial if I'm creating a Windows virtual machine here's a tutorial for Linux and I'm going to fill out the basics it wants to know how are you gonna pay for this well I've got a subscription uh, which is pay as you go and depending on the virtual machine uh, that you're using um, it the price varies depending on what you set up and uh, and how it varies. Okay, so a resource group. Uh, I'm going to create a new resource group. I'm going to call it uh, VM test. Click OK. Now a resource group is everything that's associated with this uh, with this vir virtual machine. Um, virtual machine name. Now, to begin with, I need to give it a name. Uh, <coughs> and the information that it wants is, where is it located at? Where is it going to be located at? 
Uh, is it going to be located at servers in the central US or you want it to be as near to you as possible for latency reasons. Um, so if you were in Australia you would find one that was located uh, uh, a region that was located near you. Um, availability options, the image that we're going to use, we've got a list of, in it, of uh, have choices here that we can okay and again I still need to create a username and uh, I can choose a password or I can use a uh, public key to use for this okay however I want to log into this all right I went through and filled in the defaults and when I came to my virtual machine it created it for me and now or it will create it for me and it tells me uh, how much I how much uh, I can expect to be charged for this one so this one's a little bit cheaper than some of the others that I might have might have charged might have uh, selected so I'm gonna go ahead and create this one once it's created my virtual machine, I can come back here to virtual machines and I can see that I've got my virtual machine here. Let me click on it and it gives me information about this virtual machine that I've created. 